Well, good evening, Cruise Crew. It is so good to see everybody here, and we have a special guest that I want to introduce you to. Some of you may already know him, but before I do, uh, I want to take a moment uh, to thank you so sincerely for your participation uh, in our rallies. Our rallies are picking up momentum, and the Cruise Campaign is also picking up momentum. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Uh, but I want to especially thank you all uh, for the way that you're piling on the candy calls. Uh, because uh, I know that when people uh, are invited and you all retweet those invitations, uh, it's having an effect. And uh, I really appreciate it. Let me make one little adjustment here that I forgot to do earlier. And hopefully it won't crash this whole thing, but uh, I have to do this because my camera has this autofocus thing. And uh, do not adjust your set. No, you are not inebriated. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get this back here in a minute. So, all right. Hey, listen, um, many of you have seen the, the memes and the artwork from uh, Dwayne Langenberg. And we have him on the phone all the way from the great... Well, the state of Oregon. The socialist state of Oregon. <laughs> the, the People's Republic yeah. of Oregon. Now, I'll put this in the chat a little bit later on. If somebody else would do this uh, prior to that, that would be great. Cruisercafe.com. C-R-U-Z-E-R-C-A-F-E.com is his website. And... Uh, and we're going to be seeing more from Dwayne in the near future. Uh, he is going to uh, reactivate a dormant Twitter account. And uh, so he'll be on board. And when that happens, uh, we look forward to uh, teaming up with him here. Uh, Dwayne, tell us your story. Uh, you have quite a bit of uh, graphic skills. Did you? Um, how long did you go to college to do that? Well, hi, Mark. It's, it's such a pleasure to join you all tonight. Um, I, uh, I, I spent two years at, uh, at uh, Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I hope some of you non-charismatics might not hold that against me, but uh, that's, that's a fact. And um, I, uh, I've spent 40, 40 years in the ad marketing business, and uh, it's, it's less college than, than it is uh, the, the school of hard knocks, and i and, uh, been a part of over 200 startups, and so I've got a, a, a good sense uh, uh, of how how new efforts start, and uh, being a part of, of those things has, has given me some pretty good pretty good chops to be able to help in in uh, Ted's campaign, for example. Now, earlier when we spoke today, you mentioned a couple of rather rather high profile clients that you helped uh, manage their their media. Could you repeat that for us? Well, my my original. My, <laughs> It's interesting at at this point in my career the 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 most important thing I think I've I've I can um, allude to is my original uh, involvement with Nike uh, clear back uh, we won't talk about when that was <laughs> but uh, I was involved in the early development of of Nike uh, here in the Willamette Valley of Oregon and uh, Bill Bowerman from the University of Oregon established. Uh, a new shoe company, and he came in, and I was creative director of an agency then, and and he said we're going to we're going to build a shoe company and beat Adidas and Puma, and uh, of course we stifled our laughs, and and uh, the rest is history. I was privileged to be a part of that early startup and saw his original waffle iron that made the original shoes, and so since then I've been involved with. Uh, a whole lot of things. Parnelli Jones Tire in Southern California, Oral mm -hmm. uh, Oral Wheat Bakeries. I had a small agency in in Orange County, and and uh, just a, a lot of wonderful people. And uh, I love the entrepreneurial spirit, and and I that's part of what I enjoy about Ted Cruz. He's he's uh, a marvelous mind and and strategist, and and uh, it's been been good to be part of what he's doing. Well, suffice it to say that you've uh, you've spent most of your professional career in marketing, and earlier today we had a chance to kind of go over the the cruise crew brand. Now, I'm not going to uh, prime the pump or give you any words to say. Uh, tell us your impression of the cruise crew brand as you observed it. Well, the the cruise campaign or 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 yours, Mark, it, the, which, the one on Twitter. Okay, you know I, I've not. 
I pay very little attention to it, my friend. I'm I'm sorry. I, I can't comment on that a lot. Uh, I can comment on the on the Cruz campaign itself. Uh, I tried to discourage the campaign early on on the logo that they're using. Mm-hmm. Um, and what and, was your reasoning there? Well, it's a it's it's really as as without casting any aspersions on on Ted, of course, um, whoever sold him that image in the first place um, didn't know what they were doing. It's it's really about as bad a national campaign image as I've I've ever witnessed. Uh, it, it's a it's an onion. It's a flame. It's a it's a <laughs> it's a water drop. It may be an oil drop. Uh, it's a burning flag. It's it's everything but the kind of imagery he should have mm-hmm. had. But I couldn't dissuade them early on, and and uh, middle management would not would not uh, put their mm-hmm. name on on mm-hmm. gee we need to write off a quarter of a million dollars in what we've already done. So yeah. uh, that I can comment on. But, okay. but the cruise cruise everywhere. I mean, I, uh, you've done a fabulous job of of popularizing that. I mean that that. Uh, I'm, I'm aware of, but yeah, the the history for those of you who have have not studied it, uh, the cruise crew hashtag was was really invented out of thin air. Uh, when it when we looked at it, it was getting uh, what about 500 tweets per day on Twitter, ninety uh, percent of which was coming from a single account. And uh, when you look at the graph today, the metrics, uh, what this this handful, what this team has done. Uh, there's not enough gold in Fort Knox to pay for it. There's just no price, uh, as the MasterCard <laughs> or Visa, whoever, you know, priceless. Uh, establishing a brand, uh, bootstrapping it, uh, you've got some experience in that. What are some of the challenges that you face? Well, that is, that is of course, the, the central issue in, in any, any new product or service is, is how to how to establish that and and uh, how to establish it for often no money. Uh, many many young organizations or or brands are working with with zero capital. And uh, one of the great things that that Twitter and and um, the web in general uh, affords the entrepreneur. And, and in this case, we're talking about you, Mark, and and your organization. Bringing a brand like that out of the ground is is often a it can be a, a twenty million dollar expense. Uh, I, I know of, of logos themselves that have, that have cost uh, well over ten million dollars just just the design and the applications of all the designs. So to to be able to take a hashtag out of out of the out of the out of the ground as they say and, and that's the metaphor of, of raising crops mm-hmm. um, is is a magnificent thing for for any amount of money to establish an icon like that is is a well it's 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 a priceless as you as you suggest it's a priceless commodity uh, and and then to do that. With with as little budget as you've been working with is is well it's it the layman can't possibly understand the value of that it's it's extraordinary. Well, thank you, and and, and I really give a lot of credit uh, to the team, and it is actually a small team; it's a handful. Uh, but when you have a tool, when you imply or apply uh, the technology, it gives us enormous leverage, and this is very encouraging for any grassroots movement because. While we're working um, to to see to it that Ted Cruz is the nominee, um, folks, sooner or later this campaign's going to be over. That's right. Okay. I mean, win, lose, or draw, it will end. So we're we're in the process of building a team because, and this has been an ongoing process. And I got to say that I study this um, all day, every day, and all night. <clears throat> And there's nothing like it. There's nothing that even comes close. And what I'm so encouraged uh, looking forward, you know, I mean, when I see people say, you know, oh, this is over, uh, you know, oh, if we lose this, it's over. And it's like, no, no, it, that's bad. It's a setback. But let me tell you something. We, ha- we have the power. We have the ability. It's within our grasp. It's well, just me, a matter of teamwork. Let me suggest, Mark, that, that what you're talking about w- – in, in traditional marketing terms, we we used to call distribution channels, um, and and what what I learned early on in the in the ad marketing business is, as as important as a product is, 
and and I think this goes to your your point. I hope hope that it does because it's it's uh, it's a very important area for laymen to understand. Um, the product itself is extraordinarily important, but often the distribution channels that it develops mm-hmm. are infinitely more important and indeed more valuable on a, right. on, a on an assessment uh, basis than the product itself. So I, I, I would I would apply that to to Cruise Crew is a is a, a a great brand that you've established, but it's only the beginning. It, that that establishes and and the analogy we used to use was was distribution channels or or, or a pipeline, uh, if you will, to to establish. Uh, a, a network and ability to get anything into the market through that through that pipeline that was established by the product. So that's that's what you're talking about, and it's it's a it's a magnificent concept, and in this case, uh, a a cost effective concept at a level that's that's hard to even even imagine. Well, in the uh, few minutes we have remaining, let's talk about you for a minute because one of the things that you know we've gotten kind of good at Twitter. Uh, and I, I'm not bragging here. The way we've gotten good is we've learned all the ways that won't work. <laughs> and, and we have stumbled sure. uh, across some that do. And sure. one of the observations, uh, one of the rules that we have on the featured tweets that we select for our rallies, if the tweet doesn't have a graphic, it is not considered. We will not consider a tweet with a, without a graphic, no matter how good the message is in that tweet, because sure. it is the graphics. Now, you have quite a reputation for turning out some cruise uh, graphics. Tell us a little bit about your work there and and how your, you know, how it's being used. By the way, uh, folks, if you will look at tweet number five on page number one, uh, that tweet contains a graphic uh, that Dwayne did. Well, I've developed about two hundred and eighty some odd um, images for him, and. Um, uh, you know, in, in in the business, we we <laughs> we we like certain certain brands, and we and we just put up with others. Uh, and sometimes we have to have to promote brands that that we're not really excited about. In this case, uh, there's there's no one that I've seen <clears throat> in the years that I've been involved in in politics uh, and and as just a citizen that is as promotable. Um, it's it's a remarkable um, ability to be able to take a guy like that and and virtually say almost anything positive that, that you can that comes to mind you can you can develop a graphic about it and and know that it's the truth. I mean that has been uh, a remarkable privilege uh, and and. and it's it's kind of like uh, ducks in a barrel promoting a, a brand like like that of Ted Cruz. Mm-hmm. Um, from a from an ad marketing standpoint, you couldn't hope for for anything that was that was that was more promotable and and uh, that would that would more support whatever you said about that product or brand or, or service. Well, let me. So it, um, it's I, been a privilege. Uh, I hope that that the chat room and our listeners will indulge me here. And we're going to talk a little a little shop talk here. Um, are you aware that on Twitter and specific uh, specifically, but Facebook in general, that the ideal aspect ratio for a graphic is one point nine one to one? And if it is not one point nine one to one, you are risking that image being cropped as it's displayed online. Do yes, you, you knew right. that. Yes, I see. Yeah. I told no, you. No, that's right. You the man. You the man. That's well, great. Well, yeah. <laughs> now, no, nobody that's listening to us knows what the hell an aspect ratio is. <laughs> but, well, it has to do with, with, with whether it's a, a vertical or a horizontal format. Yeah, and, yeah. And, is it wide and, or tall? <laughs> and it's, a, it's, a, it's a ratio. And, it's and, a w- ratio of width to height. And uh, anyway, right. but uh, so you've got 280 some odd creations that you've made. And are any of them contemporaneously expired, uh, you know, that address issues that are not issues anymore? Is durability um, one of the the considerations? Very much so. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no, it, it it they are they they remain current. In fact, uh, it's fun to go back and take his stuff six seven years ago, and you you find that you know whatever he did then you can 
you can pull forward and and well, that's because I mean, he's the guy consistent. Is, is consistent from, <laughs> from from the word go. Yeah, uh, one of the factors that we consider, you know, in in you know developing content is durability and shelf life. Sure. Um, you know, sometimes we we opt for something that has a short shelf life, uh, but ideally you want something that, uh, whether it's tweeted now or a month from now or a year from now, uh, it still has an impact. Yeah, the only thing that's that's um, no longer current, of course, is is the individual state promotion promotions that we've done. So yeah. I Those, of course, go by the boards. But. Well, we're going to have to have some conversations about how Twitter can, can be worked in that regard. Another thing I'd like to talk about in the future is, is try, let's, uh, let's try to find a way to find a repository. I know it's hard to do, but uh, if we, you know, TwitPick used to be it, uh, but they're out of business. I guess they, <laughs> I never gave them any money, but anyway. No. Um, but if there was just a repository where people could go uh, to get it, but but you know some of the complications. But, folks, if you haven't um, found uh, Dwayne, you can find him on Facebook. His name is spelled, it's, uh, well, we'll put it in the chat room. And uh, go find Dwayne on Facebook if you have a Facebook account. And soon we'll be introducing uh, Dwayne to you on Twitter because uh, he has been working uh, like a, he, he's a soldier uh, for the Cruise Army. And mm. the the contributions, his artistic skills, and and you know one of the coaching things I you know we got to use what we have. Okay, we can't. You, <laughs> I don't. It doesn't matter what you can't do with what you don't have. That's what right. What matters is what you're doing with what you have. So, folks, uh, Dwayne has been developing resources for the cruise cause uh, that we need to avail ourselves to, and we we are to some extent, but we need to to deepen that and widen that uh, as we gain momentum going forward. Uh, Dwayne, you have been you're, – you're a champion for the cause. Oh, thank and, you, sir. And I thank you, and, and I really look forward to uh, you know doing some more work with you because uh, – it, it you know it's it's a godsend. Um, we 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 need various skill sets, and and that's not one of them uh, that well, I, I have. thoroughly enjoyed our conversation this afternoon, Mark, and and uh, I, I believe it's a divine appointment. We have so much to talk about, and and uh, so thrilled to to say hi to everybody tonight, and and um, let's let's get uh, let's get Ted on down the road here. There you go, Dwayne. Thanks for calling in, and we'll, uh, we'll follow up again later. I can't wait to see what God's got in store. My pleasure, Mark. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. God bless you. Bye. All right. Bye now.